I'm from the School of Computing at Dublin City University. So today uh, I'll be talking about the basics of computer science, especially about information, knowledge and data and their relationship with the computation. So let's start for today's uh, taster course. So we will try to understand the notion of computer science in a brief sense. Uh, we will explore computers as information processing machines. I think you would find it fascinating at this stage. Uh, we will discuss the differences between information, data, and the knowledge, and how these entities are related with each other. So this, the, that's the plan, actually. So before starting, let me start by a bit of my background. I have my PhD in uh, Dublin City University, and I have worked for 14 years on hands-on experience in software development, and eight years in academic research in top institutions such as Huawei Research Center and Lero, the Irish Software Research Center. I have conducted research on empirical software engineering, data and information modeling, virtual and augmented reality, game theory, game design, gamification, and evidence-based software engineering. So what is computer science? A classical answer is that computer science is the study of computers and their associated phenomena. So it centers on the computer itself and certainly there would be no computer science without the computer. So uh, I think you might find it fascinating, but computer is an automaton. So this word coined in 17th century means an artifact which performed certain repetitive patterns of actions without external influences. So let's go back to old times. So ingenious mechanical automata have been devised since ancient times, largely for the amu uh, amusement of the wealthy, but some were of a very practical nature. For example, in mythology, Talos is a giant automaton made of bronze. Its goal was to protect Europa. The automation patrols the island shores three times daily, kills the pirates and the invaders. So, what is it that computers do which sets them apart from other sources of automation or automatons? And what makes computer science so distinctive as a scientific discipline? So, let's talk about science just a little bit. If science is constrained by the fundamental stuff is concerned with. The stuff of physics comprises matter, force, energy, and motion. The stuff of chemistry, on the other hand, comprises atoms and molecules. Not surprisingly, perhaps, the fundamental stuff of computer science is information. The computer is the means by which information is automatically retrieved from the environment, stored, processed, or transformed, and released back to the environment. This is why an alternative term for computing is information processing. In ordinary language, information is meaningful. Consider the statement, the average winter temperature in Dublin is 5 degrees Celsius, and this type of information that tells us something about the climate in Dublin. However, the word information means something very different for communication engineers. In information theory, Information is simply a commodity transmitted across the communication channels, such as telephone lines. The unit of information in information theory is called the bit, as in binary digits. A bit has only two values, usually denoted as 0 or 1. However, today we have more familiar with the concept of the byte. For instance, the cap capacity and performance of a computer is specified in terms of bits and bytes. A more interesting kind of information is semantic information for us, which semantic information connects the real world and in a sense corresponds to the everyday use of the word. For example, when I go online with my laptop, information processing occurs at a physical or a meaningless level at first. Bits are transmitted from some server through the network to my machine. I am seeking information that is about Sometimes, for instance, the CV of a certain person, the resulting text that I read on my screen means something to me. At this level, computation artifact I am interacting with is a semantic information processing system. Consider an item of semantic information such as the CV of the individual that I mentioned. By reading it, I gain knowledge about that individual. A source of the confusion about the concept of information in daily language is the overlap of concept of information and the language and knowledge, sorry. 
Uh, computer scientists are sometimes uneasy about distinguishing, distinguishing the knowledge from information. For example, in artificial intelligence, which is a subfield of computer science, a long-standing problem of interest has been knowledge representation. Knowledge representation is a way to represent knowledge about the world in computer memory. However, it is unclear in what way such entities constitute knowledge and not information uh, remains largely unsaid. AI researchers claim that what they do is knowledge processing rather than information processing. However, they do not necessarily explain why their concern is knowledge, not the information. In another specialty known as data mining, the concern is the knowledge discovery from large volumes of data. Data mining researchers characterize the knowledge as an interesting and useful pattern hidden in a large database. They distinguish knowledge discovery from information retrieval, which is concerned with retrieving useful information from the database on the basis of some query. Knowledge discovery identifies a knowledge that is not only useful in information, but also interesting to be uh, become knowledge. The data mining researchers favor knowledge over the information. Information and knowledge bear a family of resemblance. Suppose while driving you heard on the radio that physicists in Genoa have detected a fundamental particle called the Higgs boson. This is certainly a piece of new information. You may think that you have acquired some new knowledge. Unless you can connect this with the other related items of information about fundamental particles and cosmology, this would be an illusion. Would you be able to judge the significance of this information? Physicist possesses an integrated web of facts about the structure of the universe that enable them to assimilate the new fact that uh, they possess the knowledge to do this, while you have merely acquired a new piece of information. Speaking as a computer scientist, data is the presentation of information obtained by observation or measurement in some precise manner. So, in this view, information precedes data. In practice, the relationship between information and data is as murky as the relationship between information and knowledge. For instance, imagine that you are approaching a traffic light. Your observation of a red signal is data because it could have been otherwise yellow or green. We can define information as one or more data elements that are structured according to rules and are meaningful. Information is data when it possesses both syntax and semantics. Therefore, the data that is observed as the red traffic signal becomes information because of the red light means that you must stop at the traffic light. You do not associate this action with the red light, your observation uh, remains only as a data. So let's go back to the programmer's perspective. So computer programmers communicate a computational task to a computer. They concern themselves with the data as fundamental objects, also known as data objects, upon which computations are performed. They are also interested in classification of data objects, also known as the data types. Ultimately, they create rules for representing complex data objects, also known as the data structures. As a result, from a programmer's perspective, what matters is data, neither information nor knowledge. So here are some takeaways for you. Uh, we started this a uh, taster lecture with a proposition that the basic stuff uh, of computing is information. The computer is an automaton that processes information and consequently computer science is the study of information processing. But we learned that while to, a, uh, to an AI researcher the fundamental stuff of computing is knowledge, for a programmer it is data. Can we then reduce these three entities, information, data, and knowledge, to a common denominator? Indeed, we can. Computer scientists equate information with symbols, but we can go further. As far as computer science is concerned, all these entities can be expressed by symbols, or rather by systems of symbols, or system structures, or symbol structures. That stands for or denote other entities. 
Even the meaningless information uh, of information theory, the bits and the bytes are presented by physical symbols uh, within a computer, such as voltage levels, magnetic states, or on paper strings of zeros and ones. So we could say that it's uh, at its core, the stuff of computing is symbol structures. The phenomena associated with the computers are ultimately reducible to symbol structures and their processing. Computer science is ultimately the science of automatic symbol processing. We may choose to call such symbol structures information, data, or knowledge, depending on our particular culture uh, within the computer science domain. The notion which sets computer science apart from other disciplines is the fact that computing is ultimately symbol processing. The computer is a symbol processing automaton and computer science is the science of symbol processing. Well, thank you for listening.